Welcome to Barnstable Today. I'm Nick Cortese. And I'm Kevin Friel. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website. You can find them at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. Today, we're spending a bit more time on some of the highlights from last Thursday's town council meeting. In addition to the agenda items they covered, councilors also received an update from State Senator Rob O'Leary on recent happenings on Beacon Hill. The senator opened his presentation with a word of caution regarding the governor's FY 2011 budget proposal, which aims to level fund local aid and fully fund Chapter 70 aid to public schools. Tradition has been typically that a governor submits a budget and then the House and Senate uh, move the numbers around a bit, but generally they add in, not subtract. Um, it's been a tradition, except for maybe last year. Uh, my sense is this year, and I guess one of the reasons I came here tonight is to say that um, I would be cautious this year, um, because uh, my, my sense is that it, we're going to see the reverse of that, that um, the governor has in his budget some tax increases. I don't think there is any appetite in the legislature this year uh, for those. There's a sugar tax in there. There's a, an expansion of the bottle bill, um, uh, some various other uh, modest but nonetheless tax increases. And I, I just, my sense is that they're, they're, they have a bit of an uphill battle. So, um, and then there's the expectation of for the federal money. I think some of that is reasonable. But uh, all in all, uh, I think we're going to be fairly cautious about the governor's budget. We're probably going to be cutting deeper than, than he does. And, you know, that means local aid. I'm not saying it's um, uh, going to be on the table, but I, I, I just wouldn't rule it out. And uh, from my perspective as chairman of education, I was thrilled to see the governor uh, uh, basically uh, protect Chapter 70 and, and, and local aid as the, n the number one priority in his bill, but I, I'm, I'm just uh, putting up a yellow light, I guess, in, in that issue. Senator O'Leary also spent time touting the virtues of the recently passed State Education Reform Act of 2009, a piece of legislation he was instrumental in crafting. Uh, in, in my committee, we did the bill, a bill this year, um, the Ed Reform Act of um, 2000 and uh, in nine, I guess I'd say, uh, which was uh, the single biggest ed reform since 1993 uh, in, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, there was some controversy around the bill, a very complex bill, uh, involved a lot of major policy changes. We lifted the cap on charter schools statewide in underperforming districts. Uh, we also built in uh, some language, however, to make charter schools more accountable and, frankly, to reimburse uh, local communities a little more uh, adequately if there are charter schools within their respective communities. So we tried to um, deal with the issue, some of the issues, both pro and con, I guess you might say, around charter schools that have really been sitting out there since 1993, haven't been revisited, and, and we did so in this bill. We also, um, I think particularly interesting for Barnstable, we uh, we eliminated the union veto on Horace Mann schools. Uh, there are only seven in the state, of which Bonstable has one, and um, two, two, two. I take that back, two, uh, two. <laughs> That's fairly unique, and uh, and and uh, the, you know the sentiment was that this is a a, a, a vehicle that's been frankly. Uh, underused and underappreciated, and we thought it was time to revisit it in this legislation. Finally, uh, uh, and, uh, with respect to that, this uh, bill also uh, uh, positions the Commonwealth, we hope, to uh, qualify for what's called race to the top money. The President talked about it in the State of the Union address. Uh, only about nine or ten states out of the 50 are going to qualify. It's sort of an all or nothing. Uh, we have, um, uh, we feel this bill positions us for, uh, for this money. We're very optimistic. We'll know April 1st. Uh, it's a lot. It's $288 million that would come to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts if we qualify uh, under, this, uh, under this arrangement. We're very optimistic uh, that, that we, we have sort of met the bar here and uh, we'll be successful, but um, I'm I've been accused of spending the money before it's arrived. Uh, but uh, I, I do feel quite good about it, and I think it's going to happen. 
The senator then moved on to implore the councilors to support a project that's been in the works for a long time, extending the Cape Cod Rail Trail into Barnstable. We're very optimistic that there will be state funding to bring uh, the Cape Rail Trail from Dennis, where it ends now, uh, uh, to Willow Street. Uh, very, I can't, I, you know, I, I, I'm very optimistic, must I say, that that money uh, is going to be forthcoming very soon. Uh, and um, uh, all of the easements and right-of-ways and the design and all of the engineering is in place. So once the state money shows up, and I believe it will, there is matching federal money. Barnstable, uh, Yarmouth and is, is likely to be doing something there, and now it's Barnstable's turn to step up and become the next leg in what we all would like to see is a Cape-wide bike path down the center of the Cape. It has, I think, significant value for a whole variety of reasons. Um, we have been negotiating for four years, five years, uh, with uh, Fish and Wildlife. They have, um, for all intents and purposes, agreed to an easement through the property uh, that they own um, um, uh, uh, from Willow Street uh, to Mary Dunn. So that gets us, uh, uh, it, but it requires a, a, a um, comprehensive uh, uh, plan uh, in that area that involves the Hyannis Water District, uh, the town, uh, and, 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 and frankly, fish and wildlife. That needs to happen, and I would encourage you to, um, uh, to uh, get about the business of figuring that all out because uh, the commissioner is supportive of this, but commissioners come and go, and I'm worried that this commissioner, who has been very, very open to this, uh, unlike her predecessor. Um, so I would just encourage you to take that up and, and make it happen. And finally, during the question and answer portion of Senator O'Leary's appearance, Councillor Richard Barry asked the Senator for his take on proposed legislation that would effectively outlaw commercial striped bass fishing. We have sponsored uh, a thing this evening that's on our agenda relative to Representative Patrick's uh, request to um, essentially make the striped bass a, uh, a fish, game fish, a game uh, fish which would essentially uh, make it illegal to catch and sell uh, striped bass. Um, I'm wondering what, what went on in the last committee hearing and, and what's your position on that? Well, my, I oppose uh, uh, Representative Patrick's bill and uh, I testified in front of the committee in opposition to it. Um, and um, uh, I think, uh, and, and, and for a variety of reasons, and I, I don't want to go into all the nuances, there's really a debate about uh, whether there is a problem and how serious that problem is. So there's that issue. And then uh, once you resolve the issue of whether there is, in fact, a problem with respect to the striped bass population, um, uh, I think the resolution that's being suggested here is that they uh, remove commercial fishermen from from, from the catch and reserve it exclusively as a recreational fish. And um, I think that puts the burden for, for resolving the problem on one segment at the expense of the other. Uh, it's 100% to commercial fishermen. I think that's um, uh, frankly unfair. Later in the meeting, the council unanimously adopted a resolution opposing that legislation as well. Now let's take a look at this week's meeting schedule. At 3 o'clock on Tuesday, the Board of Health meets in the Town Hall hearing room, and then at 6, the School Committee meets in the Town Hall hearing room. On Wednesday, February 10th at 7 o'clock, the Zoning Board of Appeals has a meeting in the Town Hall hearing room. Also at 7, the Old Kings Highway Historic District Committee meets on Route 149 in West Barnstable. On Thursday, February 11th at 9 o'clock, Site Plan Review has a meeting in the Town Hall hearing room. Well, that's all the time we have for now. For Kevin Friel, I'm Nick Cortese. We'll see you next time on Barnstable Today.